Getting a perfect wolf kill is probably one of the harder and more daunting things you will need to do in this game. I remember my first playthrough and being frightened to death of coming across a pack of wolves. They almost always spawn in a pack of four or more. I've even seen packs of ten or more wolves, which I would never want to try and take down if they were chasing me. Killing a pack of animals like the wolves is made much easier after the train robbery in Chapter 2, where you gain the ability to manually paint a target in Deadeye. When you tag a target in Deadeye, you can get a perfect headshot and mark multiple enemies before hitting the right trigger. Mastering the art of targeting multiple enemies will save your life on many occasions when set upon by a pack of wolves or even the O'Driscoll ambushes. The favoured weapon to use for killing a pack of wolves is the bolt action rifle with high velocity ammo. You get this free in a mission in Chapter 3. If you haven't reached Chapter 3 yet, then an upgraded Springfield rifle will do with the same high velocity ammo. However, unlike the bolt action rifle, the Springfield does not let you tag more than one enemy at a time. I have four examples to show you of where to get a perfect wolf pelt. This is the first one. On the map here, I've plotted the route to get to a vantage point where you will be able to lure some unsuspecting wolves. They seem to appear here after noon. The marker here is the location of the vantage point. Stay well clear of the path and follow the route I showed just now. As you can see here, I'm now riding towards the vantage point. As you get close to it, dismount from your horse and leave it well back. The wolves are actually sleeping in a wooded area near the path here. Carry on making your way to the top of the vantage point like I'm doing. Then start moving slower down the hill. Using my binoculars, I've spotted a wolf, but I want to get a closer look to see exactly where they are and how many of them are there. I'm using the bolt action rifle and I make sure to use cover scent lotion. As I get nearer, they can be seen using eagle eye as well. There are at least five walls here, most of them are three stars. Instead of taking them out in the woods, I want to lure them out into the open to make it easier for me to see them. So I head back up the hill a bit and lay down some predator bait. I make sure to head even further up the hill and stay hidden. I can hear the sounds of the wolves as they head towards the bait. Make sure you have a yellow deadeye core at this stage. This will enable you to stay in deadeye a lot longer and to tag all the heads of the wolves. The second location I want to show you is Katora Springs. This is also the location of the legendary wolf as well. Packs of wolves can spawn anywhere here. They're also more likely to spawn at night. I was lucky enough to spot two wolves here feasting on the remains of a deer carcass near the springs. I will let this play out to show you what happened. Don't forget, always apply that cover scent lotion. The third location is actually an event that gets triggered with the feral man. The first time you see him, two wolves will run to protect him. Be 
because this is an event, the chances of getting three star pelts are higher. As you can see here, I don't get a headshot on the second ball. But the game still gives me a perfect pelt. Lastly, the other way of getting a perfect wolf pelt is through the second part of the Albert Mason mission. I completed this in Chapter 2 before I had unlocked the bolt action rifle, so I'm using a Springfield rifle which is fully upgraded. I also had the ability to manually tag targets in Deadeye. The wolves are easier on you because it's a mission and give you some time to line up headshots. Many thanks for watching. If you find this or any of my other guides in this series helpful, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell to receive updates on when I next upload.